between August and October 2022, every couple of weeks branches would fall onto the ground. And so I'm going to use a traditional saw to cut them in half or in thirds so that they're easy to relocate to the curb. At the same time, this gives me an opportunity to get some good sun, tune into the frequencies of the earth, and enjoy this time with nature as I exercise my body and boost my vital energies. I had to saw down some branches because several fail and one failed near my car. I thank the Most High for sparing my car. And I saw this as an opportunity to clear away the other branches and cut them in half so they're easier to carry to the curb. And while I was at it, I took a moment to walk bare feet in nature. And as you can see, a tree fell on my, a, a big heavy branch fell on my foot, but that's okay. I'm okay. I am sweating and I'm gonna take a very, very good shower. But I thank the Most High for this day and this opportunity to commune with nature and to see things from the perspective of the earth, the sky, the air, the fire through the sun, the water. It's been a long time since I've used a saw and um, I've learned a few tricks with uh, using it. You know, when you are trying to go through these, uh, you're trying to go through thicker branches, it's like there's a certain rhythm you have to go with and um, you know, It's good upper body exercise. This entire process took me about two, two and a half hours to uh, get all of these sawed in half and move them a couple of yards, but not bad. All right, so almost an hour and a half later, got the area cleared up. And uh, I am sweatier and dirtier, but I'm all the better for it. And so this was a good process of getting connected with nature and to straighten things up. And it's very much like working with systems in general, natural systems and human finessed systems, they have a lot of similarities, but it's easier to understand when you actually get down and you touch the ground and you make the necessary adjustments to see how nature's plan comes together as inspiration for systems that you create through other means. So, these leaves, branches, and parts of the tree have made their journey to their next spot where they are to be picked up and they will go to nourish and contribute to a new chapter in nature. All right, so I thought I'd come out here this morning, allow my feet to touch the ground right because there's something about earth connecting with earth so I cleaned up a yard today and I started around 10 a.m. this morning and I just wrapped up around 1 30 p.m. and it was also a great opportunity for me to walk bare feet through the grass. I haven't done that in a long time. And there is a energy you can feel from the ground as you walk through and you feel the rhythms of nature. And you see the ants and the wasps and the bees and 
other creatures scurrying about. And so this was a rewarding process of energy, energy exertion, energy channeling, and I haven't even had breakfast yet. Well, now it's time for a 2 p.m. meal. So I'm gonna go shower up, get cleaned up, and go about the rest of the day with the lessons learned from this encounter with nature's systems. So I'm out here and I see that this branch has fallen. This branch just keeps going and going and going. And so I'm in the process of getting this, I'm gonna saw this piece off because trying to move it, trying to move it out of this, um, this crevice that it's fallen into, it's pretty much, uh, I won't say impossible, but it'll require more effort than necessary for a single person. So I'm here working on this. I just about got all the way through there. And so I'll just keep sawing at it until I got it uh, nailed down. And my objective is to get enough of this I like the uh, upper body exercise. You know. Thank you, thank you, nature. This is this is a great upper body exercise. So, so I'm earthing, and I am. Getting a little bit of upper body at the same time. be careful from this angle because if I make it through I'm gonna have this whole tree on my foot. So but this is the best angle to cut from where I'm standing. So I'm just gonna cut enough where I can try to use the weight of the tree to break off from this piece. And then I'm gonna use a um, I'm gonna use a, a a metal mallet to dislodge this this uh this chunk here from where it's wedged. If I don't remove it by hand. there. See if I do this, then I won't have to move out of the way. So, orient my body just so. I think I might end up going all the way through this without having to use the pressure of the trunk. Hear it. I usually have these uh, work gloves on when I do this, so I'm able to go a lot faster. But where my hand is angled right against this post, I'm not trying to do all that and scrap this hand that I just got the skin cleared up when I went on a three-day fast, water fast, and um, that was months ago, and then I got rid of sugar and vegetable oil and bread for my diet, and so my whole complexion cleared up. 
so I'm trying to keep that keep the skin clear. Not bad, but I'm going to switch angles again and go at it on the other side. Let's push down on it a little bit and see. All right. I hear you. Be careful with this type of saw that you don't warp it too much. It's pretty hot right now. Try to get a nice clean cut through without wood residue getting in the crack and obstructing the flow of the cut. But also the pressure of the branch is now starting to lodge here. Yeah, it's starting to cave on itself, so. I'm gonna try to cut it upside down, let's see. See if I can get through there like that. But that's just out of bark, so you just cut through that. Oh, there we go. Be careful, because I'm starting to. Here we go. Here we go. This might start falling at any moment here. So. It's much easier to move that now. And I'll move the, the, the branch, this big branch, later. So, got sawdust all over my phone here. Okay. So, <clears throat> we got the saw. Got piece sawed off. And then got a big old branch. Then I'm gonna either move all in all at once or I'm gonna cut it into about four pieces to make it easier to move. I haven't decided on that yet. But for now, I'm just gonna take a break. This branch fell on October 13, 2022. I just wanted to see the length of it.